A lot of people imagine that land buying procedures are the same, at least by regions or zones in, in Africa. Each country in East Africa has its own constitution and sets of laws that determine what processes one must follow to purchase land and acquire land legally. So very different. You have to be conversant with the legal structures, the constitutional requirements of the country you're dealing with. Now, we are specialists on Kenya, so I cannot speak too much on the other parts of Eastern Africa. I will tell you, for instance, in Tanzania, it's very different because most land is owned by the people of Tanzania through the government of Tanzania as a stakeholder. And as a foreigner, I cannot buy land in most parts of Tanzania, I can only lease land. Whereas in Kenya, foreigners can actually own and buy land. Even though they're called leasehold titles, you actually have the exact same ownership rights as freehold, absolute ownership rights as freehold. Only thing that lease certificates do is limit your period of absolute ownership to 99 years, which are still renewable if you renew on time. But these are some of the key nuances and differences between land ownership in Kenya versus the rest of East Africa. And to avoid any hurdles, pitfalls, landmines, pun intended, make sure you work with a licensed advocate of that particular country. No shortcuts.